This gradient here is destroying my image. Can you see it? So I tested four gradient removal methods. Some are free, some cost money. Okay, so let's, let's compare these four methods and see which one wins. And this one shocked me, I have to admit. Same image, four tools, one clear winner. I'm showing you everything in this test. Okay, method one, using gradient exterminator. This normally costs $59.95. Does it justify that price? So first of all, choose the lasso tool and lasso around the nebula. In this case, the California nebula. Then we want select inverse. So it selects the surrounding area and select gradient exterminator, medium and medium. Press OK, and there you are. There's our result. How does it look? It looks pretty good, actually. Uh, now we're going to zoom in a little bit and see how the nebula looks. It looks OK. We've got quite a lot of detail there. The stars are looking a little bit blue on their halos, but it looks like it's done a reasonably good job. I'm quite impressed with that one. So, Gradiator Exterminator works. It's a little bit expensive and not absolutely perfect. Can the free tools beat this? Now let's move on to method two, which is Graxpert. This is free, AI powered, and everyone's talking about it. Let's see if that hype is real. Now let's do some processing. Watch this. Graxpert uses AI to detect the background. So here we are back to the original gradient and we've opened Graxpert. And all we've got to do really is go with the default settings, click on apply. I wouldn't change anything. And in a very, very short time, it's very, very fast. You can see the difference that it's made. The gradient has been removed. That's with the gradient and that's with the gradient removal. And once again, look at the difference there. It's really brought out, I think, the structure of the nebula. Let's zoom in a little bit. It looks pretty good. The stars do look a bit green though, don't they? So I think that's one problem I can see here. The stars look green, but that could be corrected. However, that's a little bit of time added on for that. So far, it's pretty even, but we've got two more to test. So now we're going to look at Astroflat Pro and see if this one can perform any better. Uh, at the moment, it's pretty close. Open up Astro Pro. You've got to be sure with Astro Pro that you have these sliders set correctly. So the top one you need to adjust so that you're not cutting out too much of the nebula. Let's just zoom in a bit after we've applied it very, very quickly. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, you do see green stars a little bit, but I think we've got green stars in the main original image anyway. So it doesn't appear to have made them any worse. So now let's take a look at method four. This is my bonus method for you using Photoshop. And this is free providing you have Photoshop. So first of all, this is our original image. Again, we're going to select the eyedropper tool here and make sure that it's set to 31 by 31. Once we've done that, we're going to open levels and double click on the leftmost, which is the black point, and check that we've got 35, 35, 35 for RGB to set the background. Now we're going to look somewhere in the middle of our light area over here and click and you can see what's happened. Uh, it's turned the background a neutral color. However, I have to say that we still have a slight gradient with this one. You can see at the bottom uh, left corner, we've got a lighter color than at the top. This would require further work to remove this. Let's zoom up a little bit now and we can see that the nebula is intact. Okay, so it's now time to look at the results. Uh, and it's quite a head-to-head, -head, isn't it? Four methods, same image, same gradient, and here's what happened. So taking a look at the four images side by side, and bearing in mind that I haven't done any levels adjustment here. This is just how they came out. 
So it does look in this shot, although, you know, on YouTube, you may not appreciate this. Initially, the Photoshop image looks really good, doesn't it? Followed by perhaps the Astroflat Pro and then the other two. But if we do look closer, we might get a different opinion. And before we do move on, uh, we're going to look at the actual results here now. I'll be very, very interested to hear what you think about these results and which one you think is best. So please do comment below and we can discuss the whys and the wherefores of which one is actually performing the best. Should you go with one of the paid versions or should you use one of the free ones? Okay, let's look at some of the results then. So the four light pollution methods I used, now two are free. So the Photoshop one is not free in respect that you may have to pay a subscription for Photoshop. I actually am using it free, but most people will have to pay a subscription. And once you get the subscription, you'll not have to pay anything else for this, this manual uh, method. However, if we compare the two free, Grax Spurt used with Cyril really did perform much better and there were minimal problems. Whereas with the Photoshop image, there was an uneven background as we saw before. Gradient Exterminator was the most expensive. It is one of my most reliable programs and the quality is very good, uh, but there was slight green on the stars. Now, Astroflat Pro also made a very, very good job of it. And I would say that it probably beats Gradient Exterminator, but still with the price of $34.95. So what do you think? Do tell me what you think, which one you think is actually the best. When I look at the actual overall performance and give points for these, the best seems to be Graxbert, which is free. So what do you think about that? The winner is Graxbert. It's free, it's quick, it's AI powered, it's easy to use and pretty good results. I did not expect the free AI tool to beat the most expensive plugin, the old favorite Gradient Exterminator, but the results don't lie, do they? So there you have it, four Gradient Removal Tool methods tested. The free AI tool seems to be the best. Uh, if this just saved you $59.95 or even more, hit that like button right now and please do drop a comment. Are you switching to Graxpert or sticking with paid plugins? I want to know. And do subscribe because I'm testing more astrophotography tools every single week. There's more coming up too. So please do help out and subscribe to the channel. Please take a moment to click on the next video too. And do watch on because there's lots more goodies coming.